And you identify this bony landmark right here at johnforbootcamp.com. And today we're going to be taking a look at the ulna. Now, how do we know it's the ulna? Well, we have two bones within our forearm. We have the ulna and we have the radius. The ulna is going to be a little bit thicker and a little bit larger and wider, approximately. And as we move distally, it sort of narrows in. The opposite is true for the radius. The radius begins quite thick and wide towards the distal aspect. And as we move proximally, it becomes a lot thinner. So we know we're looking at the ulna. Another big giveaway is this structure right here. This is going to be our olecranon process. So that is pretty much your elbow right here. And when the arm is extended, that olecranon process is received by the olecranon fossa of the humerus. Now, as we move on the anterior aspect of the ulna, we have our coronoid process. And when the elbow is flexed, the coronoid process is received by the coronoid fossa of the humerus. So the correct answer in this case is going to be our coronoid process.